Hey guys, this is Marianne and you're with Paint the Town. Today I will be guiding you through a step-by-step -step process of recreating the painting Moonlit Lake. Before we go any further, I just want to make a quick disclaimer that this painting is actually not an original painting, but is highly inspired by one Pinterest artist, Eon Paris. Let's start. So using our smallest brush, we will go ahead and outline the main points or areas on our painting. Using the primary blue, we'll go ahead and outline the horizon line where this hill is placed and this area as well and the outline for this landscape area here as well. Alright, so don't worry if your lines are a little messy, that doesn't really matter, we're just doing the placement right now. Okay, so the next step that we'll be doing, using the biggest brush that we have, we will still be using the primary blue, but this time we'll be adding a little bit of white and the dark purple. First, we want to go ahead and start off right here in the middle, just the primary blue, and as we're going up, we want to add a little bit of white, and then when we reach right about here, where the white starts to meet the lighter purple, we want to stop right here and then start with the darker purple up here on both corners of your canvas, and then adding white, we'll go ahead and start blending the middle part. Don't forget to paint the sides of your canvas as well. This gives the painting a more finished uh, feel at the end. Using your medium brush, we will be adding some black to the horizon line and then we will add some blue just to blend the two colors so that we get this effect right here. Black going to blue. Alright, so the next thing that we want to do is to paint our lake and we do that by first using a lot of white and a little bit of primary blue up here and as we go down we use less and less of the white and more of the primary blue and as we get down towards the bottom of your canvas we will add more and more black to the primary blue to get this blended effect right over here. So now, using the medium brush, we want to go ahead and paint these areas in black.
right, so the next thing that we want to do is add the details on these parts, starting with this one. Using the small paintbrush and using only the tip and some black paint, we'll add some small spikes on the hill, as if there are a forest from afar. The next thing that we want to do is add the details to this part and we do that by using the medium round brush and some purple paint. So for this part, we want to create a bush type and we do that by dabbing and dragging all around the edges of this area. still working on this area and using the same medium brush, we want to go ahead and use some black paint and for some areas, add some black. Now, we will go ahead and add the details to this area. This is personally my favorite part of the painting. <laughs> we will be introducing the light purple. So for every flower bundle, you want it to be like around that big. And uh, we do the flower bundles by doing dabbing motions in a circular motion. And we start off by using the dark purple. And we just go ahead and place the flower bundles where we feel like placing them. And afterwards, we go ahead and use the light purple to highlight the lighter parts of the bundle. So we're going to go ahead and place the lighter purple somewhere in the middle going to the top. And then for the main highlights, we will be using white just on top of the flower bundles. Using just a slightly wet brush without any paint, we'll go ahead and blend the flower bundles in a more circular form. So now, before we go ahead and add the tree, we will go ahead and add the moon. It can be as big or as small as you want. For me, I'm feeling a more dynamic moon. So I'll go ahead and create a circle with white paint and then I'll fill that with white and then just with a little bit of gray, I'll dab a few points on the right side of the moon and I'll go ahead and blend it with the white. to use the smallest brush that we have. Now to create the clouds, we first need to use a paintbrush with mostly water and just a tiny bit of white to create that see-through effect on the clouds. And we want to just also with a dabbing motion. And then once we've placed our clouds, we can then use less water and more white to add the highlights to the clouds as you can see on the original painting. And again, it's completely up to you where you want to place the clouds. But if you want to place sand, you can go ahead and place the clouds as I did in the original painting. Now we'll do the stars, and we do that by using just the tip of our smallest brush and some white paint. So we dip it in white paint, and then we can go ahead and place the stars here on the darker purple of the sky. Now, before 
before we start painting the tree, we'll go ahead and add the white highlights. As you can see here, along the edges of the landscape areas, and then the horizon, and as well as the reflections on the lake. We'll do that by using just white paint and a small brush. We have finally come to the tree. <laughs> we'll be painting the tree using our smallest paintbrush and some black paint. We'll go ahead and paint the trunk of the tree starting from around this area, going upwards and then branching out. Remember, there's no right way of painting a tree. Your branch can be going upwards, sideways to the left, sideways to the right. Just feel it, get in the mood. I too will just be winging it as I paint. And now we will paint the leaves. As you can see in the original painting, I used dark purple and white highlights. But for this one, I'm going to use the light purple with white highlights. The way that we are going to paint the leaves is similar to the way we painted the flower bundles, but not in a circle of motion, but dabbing in more of a straight line. Alright guys, we're just about done, but before we are finished, let's grab our small paintbrush for the last time. We'll go ahead and use it with black paint to add a few more branches all over the tree. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and give our brush a good wash, and then with white paint, we'll go ahead and add some highlights to our trunk and some of our main branches. And we are done! <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed that because I really did and I don't know if it's evident but I actually enjoyed painting this one more than I did the original one. And if you did enjoy our tutorial, please don't forget to like, share, comment. Please, please, please do comment because we do appreciate your feedback and your suggestions because we strive to make our tutorials the best for all of you. And subscribe <laughs> and before I forget we are actually selling 40 by 50 canvases so please send us a DM if you're interested on our Instagram account or Facebook account and that's it for now guys see you again next time